Noe is Okonku's older son, struggles in the shadow of his powerful, successful, and demanding father. His interests are different from Okonku's and resemble more closely those of Unuka, his grandfather. He undergoes many beatings at a loss for how to please his father until the arrival of Ikemufuna, who becomes like an older brother and teaches him a gentler form of successful masculinity. As a result, Okonko backs off and Noi even starts to win his grudging approval. Noi remains conflicted, however, though he makes a show of scorning feminine things in order to please his father, he misses his mother's stories. With the unconscionable murder of Ikemufuna, however, Noe retreats into himself and finds himself forever changed. His reluctance to accept Okonko's masculine values turns into pure embitterment toward him and his ways. When missionaries come to Banta, Noe's hope and faith are reawakened, and he eventually joins forces with them. Although Okonko curses his lot for having born, so effeminate a son and disowns Noe, Noe appears to have found peace at last in leaving the oppressive atmosphere of his father's tyranny. Azinma is Okonko's favorite daughter and the only child of Aquafi. She is bold in the way that she approaches and even sometimes contradicts her father. Okonko remarks to himself multiple times that he wishes she had been born a boy, since he considers her to have such a masculine spirit. Azinma alone seems to win Okonku's full attention, affection, and ironically respect. She and he are kindred spirits, which boosts her confidence and precautiousness. She grows into a beautiful young woman, who sensibly agrees to put off marriage until her family returns from exile, so as to help her father leverage his socio-political power most effectively. In doing so, she shows an approach similar to that of Okonku. She puts strategy ahead of emotion. Ikemufuna is a 15-year-old boy from a neighboring clan by no who is given up to Umufia as a sacrifice for killing one of the women of Umufia. He lives with Okonku's family for three years before the elders order him to be killed. In those three years, he grows very close to Okonku's family, especially Noe. Okonku even prefers him to his true son Noe, considering Ikemufuna to be a promising, hard-working young man. His murder, in which Okonku takes a part, haunts Okonku throughout the book. From the very beginning, Ikemufuna is the ultimate victim. His fate is completely out of his control since he is taken away by his family so early in life for a crime which he had no part in, nor any knowledge of. In his new life, Ikemufuna is subject to the whims of his new father and the Umufia elders, in whose hands his fate ultimately lies. Ikemufuna is a prime example of how Okonku's fear of being like his father, feminine and cowardly, drives him to make a poor, regrettable decision. He joins in killing Ikemufuna because he is afraid of being weak, yet he is haunted by his decision and it also permanently, emotionally, distances him from knowing. Created using Powtoon.